Hi everyone, hope you are well. It's me again on this uh, Saturday evening. So to this video is to show you how to write data quickly in Excel instead of cell by cell. I think this is an update from Power Automate Desktop in uh, July where you can uh, create a data table and then um, now I have uh, used it uh, so that we can write in Excel quickly instead of cell by cell. So this video is actually to help a subscriber. Um, he has uh, commented uh, in one of the videos uh, to ask me to help him um write uh, excel right into excel quickly so his name is bawana saram um, can you please tell me how to write data into different columns example i have column a b c d i want to write data to all the columns for each iteration can you please suggest how to solve this i'm using individual write to excel activity for each column is there any other way to do so it's very slow for him so I am going to show him and you um, how to uh, write into Excel quickly. Uh, he also said that um, he, I have an immediate response and he never get a, such a fast response ever. And uh, he, he, is, he is very thankful. So it's the same with uh, you all. If you have a question, uh, please feel free to comment in the video. And if I know the answer, I will try to make a video and uh, reply to you uh, on YouTube. That's what I'm doing now for Bawan Asaram. So I'm going to show you a sample of uh, the data that I am going to paste into Excel. So this is actually made of two tables from Power Automate Desktop. So the first part, Power Automate Desktop will copy the uh, copy and I'm uh, sorry, will paste the column name, then the first table, and then paste the second table. Uh, it's not doing uh, individually, right? Like we what we used to do last time. Hello everyone, my name is Hao Zhong. I'm here to help you to use office work tools such as Excel and Power Automate. If you think my videos are helpful, please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. The first step to do this right table to Excel automation is to actually create a new data table. So new table, you edit, right? You can create your table here. So if you want to create a new column, click on the plus here, right? Then you can rename the column. And then you can put your data values here, right? Or you can uh, get a variable uh, from your Power Automate desktop, right? You can click on uh, here, let me show you again. Click on the X here and then just select your variable. All right. And then if you want to click, oh, sorry, if you want to add new row, just click on here to add new row. And then you can just put your data in here. So next, you need to set a variable. So this set variable can be replaced by your other workflows. So for this simple workflow, I just set a variable. So I set a variable for new name. Then I just put a value, uh, win. Then I set another variable for the age, new age, 50. Right. Then I will insert a row into data table. So insert row into data table. Data table is data table. Then I can uh, insert into before row index or end of data table. So this sample, I will just select end of data table. 
then I will put in the variables here. So I put n percent open square bracket new name which is the variable and new age which is the variable. If you don't want to do this, you can actually just uh, do a hard coding, right? And then uh, apostrophe fifty. If it's a number, right, you still need to put a apostrophe. If not, it will give you an error. Then you launch Excel. Launch Excel with a blank document. Make instant visible. The rest put as default. Then you write into Excel worksheet. So Excel instance is Excel instance. So I am going to write the row name first. Uh, so what you do is, sorry, write the column name first. So you go to X here, you go to the data table, then you go to column header row, just double click on it, all right? So this will paste the column headers name. Then write mode is on currently active cell, or you can specify the cell. Then I want to get the first three column or row from Excel worksheet. So Excel instance is Excel instance, first three column, first three row, All right? And then write to Excel worksheet. This is to write the data now. So Excel instance is Excel instance, value to write is the data table. So this is without the uh, column header name, All right? And then write mode on specified cell, column A, then row is first three row. So first three row would be the row after your header. Uh, this step is also optional. So I am just going to put another table under the first table. The second table will have the same column name and same, uh, uh, sorry, same column name. So there's no need for me to paste the column uh, name. So I just uh, created a, a, a simple table, right? Then I do the get first three column row again. This is so that I can get the row after my first table. Then I write to Excel worksheet again. Excel instance is Excel instance. And value to write is the data table two. On specified cell, column A, then first three row. So I'm going to run this. So that you can see how it works. So you can see it copy the paste the first table, then paste the second table. I hope this video has helped you. So if you think uh, you have more questions, please feel free to put in a comment below. And if I know the answer, I will try to make a video and reply you. Um, if you think this video is helpful, please consider to uh, make a donation to my PayPal link in the description. Or you can just subscribe to my channel and like this video. Uh, hope this video has helped you. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.